Hi, it's Anne, and today we are going to take a look in on our Worm Bin 101. Now this time of year, it's important, you can see how dry it is along the edges here. No worm is going to want to live in that. So it's really good to come in here and make sure that the worms have the moisture they need, as well as the food they need. So looking at this bedding, I think the bedding is still very usable. We don't probably need to add any more bedding. But I am going to flip this around and make sure that the moisture of all of the bedding is consistent throughout. And looking in on my Worm Bin 101, one thing that I am seeing here is springtails. And although I find them annoying, they are helpers in the bin. So until they get really out of control where um, that's all you see when you first open up the lid, it's okay to leave them. Um, some people say it comes from having too wet, too dry. Uh, in all of my bins, I, they go in cycles, it seems like. Sometimes there is a lot of them, sometimes there is not. And it doesn't seem to be, you know, have a lot of rhyme or reason. So sometimes you just kind of, um, you can't react crazy and be like, oh, I've got to do everything impossible to get rid of these uh, because sometimes your efforts to get rid of them might hurt your worms. So it's best to just stay calm when you have other critters in your worm bin. That is natural um, and they are helpers. You want them there. So let's get these guys some more food. Okay, since they got all of their food done, and I don't see any evidence of it. I'm going to give them a good size feeding here. Now I am going to put it, I should probably put it on one end because that gives the worms an opportunity that if the food get, does heat up that they can get away from it. So this is just one of those best practices that I would encourage um, if you're going to feed something that might be a little bit too big or maybe a little questionable as far as if it'll heat up then make sure you put it at one end of the bin or the other and that way you'll protect your worms. If it heats up, they can leave and go over here. They won't feel the need to exit the bin. And then when it cools off, then they can just go right on back and have their dinner. Always making sure to cover it up with a good amount of bedding so as to not to attract fruit flies and fungus gnats. And then just put their little blanket back on top of them to preserve moisture uh, during the winter here. If you like this series on Worm Bin 101, I will put a link up at the top here to uh, the previous feeding or the previous video. And if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.